I don't know if there's dog days of a football season, but like, you know, it seems like a little emotion out there today, guys. Maybe a little bit edgy. Uh, what do you take away from practice today? Edgy practice. I say that was good energy. To me, it was funny because I didn't get to make it to the pile. So just watching it from a distance, it was pretty funny, you know. So I say it was good. It got people back engaged. You know. How did it feel getting back out there last week after missing a couple of weeks with that injury? How you feeling now? I'm feeling great. You know, just to be back out there, you know, coming on my last season, it's like blessed feeling. Like, you know, the crowd noise and all that. Just to be back out there with my brothers, is no better feeling. Yeah, even more, like even more, like just knowing like the countdown of the games and stuff, just like yeah, probably might be my last couple times stepping on that field, so very thankful. When you were out, I know Conrad got some playing time and he made some plays in the last game as well. What have you seen from him? Oh, I've seen a lot. You know, he's still young, but pretty good player. Well, not pretty good. He's a good player. He just got, you know, still home. Now. He's still young, freshman, but I think his future bright, though. What was your reaction when he made that, you know, that one that hit and then two, yeah. that fumble? Recovery? Yeah, that was that was great for him. Like, I was turned on the sideline. Like, I ain't going to lie. Because that's my little, yeah, so super happy for him. Glad it happened for him. You know, go and get that out. He made his first big play, so should keep rolling for him now. Someone who got to play a lot as a true freshman. I guess what are some of the challenges that come with that? And if you can look back, like how much you know about the game now versus then, like how much, how much different is it now? Oh, it's very different, you know formation, you know, understanding the game from a coach's perspective. Like, as a freshman, I didn't really understand the game. Like, you know, from high school to college, it's like a big difference. It's not like about playing the game. It's about the small things like formations, tactic and stuff. So it's like, yeah, from me to now, I say, yeah, just study more on formations and knowing situations and stuff. What have you learned from Jamie and what have you kind of applied this season that you learned from him? I mean, I'd say consistency. He was pretty consistent. But, you know, we both like the same little age, so we both had our own tools. I think that's how we complimented each other. He had his package and I had my package. So, I mean, I'm thankful for him. You know, that my boy. He still showed me, you know, consistency. That's what I see. So, you know, be consistent. He was pretty consistent at what he do. Have you or the team felt any pressure mounting with the season going on and being undefeated and being ranked in the top four? Is it something that you guys are welcoming or something that doesn't even affect how much it seems like you guys are right now? I mean, I feel like it don't affect us by our record because we don't really look at the record. It'd be like, you know, it's a good feeling to be undefeated, but it's more like the bad stuff we do in the game be outweighing the good. So it's like everybody just focus on the next play, next game. I mean, it's good to win. You know, we focus on the win for that time being, but once coming back on that Sunday, it's got to let it go. Is it, is it maturity? What is it that doesn't make you, you know, feel yourself too much after winning? You're more focused on improving the game. What do you attribute that to? I'd say it's more my, like maturing, you know, because, you know, like you could get super happy after a win, especially off a couple wins we don't want. But, you know, back in the day, that, that uh, you know, have you all type of. So it just, you know, keep it course, you know, make the main thing the main thing. Do you feel like you guys are getting close to playing to the level you can play at as a defense? Yes, sir. But nobody's perfect, though, but we getting closer. I, I said we getting closer. The first quarter was a good example. Yeah, good example, but you see, about it perfect. So. Yeah. Garrett traded you guys played him a few times. Um, what, can, what do you know about him? How do you guys focus and get ready for him? Yeah, I, last year he was more of a runner. He tried to throw the ball, but he was more of a runner. But I think this year he's trying to distribute the ball more. But still got to respect his legs. You know, he's a pretty good player, got good size on him. So I think I think he's going to try to distribute the ball. But I, for me personally, without the coach's perspective, I think he might try to use his legs a little more this game. I wouldn't be surprised. When you, um, you guys had a couple years here where the crowds weren't all that great. What was it like to go back just Saturday to that crowd? Oh, it was electric. I wouldn't even lie. It was electric, but, you know, I don't been here a while. We don't, don't been in some electric game. So it was up there, but it prime time at night with an air. Yeah, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. What happened against you? Thanks, Ken. Appreciate it,